Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Can you sip that in? The, the God you take it. That name you have called many times. Sip it in. The, the God you take it. Let it take over, you know, all your internal system. Let the Jesus become the reality in the womb of your spirit, in the body of your spirit. Please do that. Do that quickly. Jesus is the answer for all the words of the PowerPoint is the cancer of God is, is Christ. The cancer of God is Christ. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You know, Daddy, we say thank you. We are mightily, we are mightily blessed. You know, I, I just, just discovered that they fall under a heavy alignment of, of, of numbers. Hallelujah. You know, in Revelation 4, you're going to see that John had a contact with 24 elders, right? Hallelujah. And I just noticed that today is, today is 24. And today being 24, I'm seeing the amalgamation of elders in this place. You know, anywhere you are seeing elders, you are seeing wisdom. Anywhere you are seeing elders, you are seeing cancer. So, you know, that cancer that has come is going to solve many things in the family, the nation, and beyond. He said, the cancer of the Lord says Christ. It's Christ. And don't forget that. The proceeded for that, he said, the cancer of God is love. Love, your love to God and your love to uh, one another. I, I, I want you to think about it. I want you to, we can do contemplative prayer about it. And I believe that if we allow the Holy Ghost to help us, that's going to go a whole long way to bring healing, to bring deliverance, to bring breakthrough. I thank God because the way he called me, I didn't choose myself. He called me. When he called me in that time, the emphasis, so the emphasis was not power. The emphasis was not science, I wonder. The emphasis was love. And we find them working in love in that community where we were. And when love reached a particular place, that same love began to walk, signs and wonder. The first cripple that I saw walk, I mean a mature person in a, in a, in a wheelchair who had been there for years, that the first one that I saw love was not because I felt power, I was not sure of but just that compassion. I was just wondering how this man would be in the had been in that wheelchair for years. And I approached his brother that can I pray for him who was willing him. He said, Can I pray for him? And you know, the first time you look at me, laugh. And then the second time, and I accepted. And then we pray, and this man stood. When he stood, I began to walk. Me and myself wanted to run again, you know. <laughs> and um, and so on and so forth. And 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 you see, I'm just embellish, embellishing the point that inside that love is many things. I, I I understand that the true revival is better than of love. Do you understand? It? And it is sustained. That. So the enemy knows this thing very well. That's why you can see that he does everything. To make sure that he set us up against one another, especially men of God. You know, when we begin to fight one another, you know, over flocks, right? Yeah. That's the main thing. Over flocks. And when we begin to fight one another over flocks, it's not just any, I discovered there's not just any other kind of flocks that we fight. It's the flocks that have meek. If you touch somebody's flock that has meek, wonderful. That's when you see the wrath of the Lord. And then we, 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 we forget to see that what God is raising is God is raising an army for his kingdom. You see, army for his kingdom it means that he's preparing this one there, preparing that one there, preparing. You know, let, let me speak to us as farmers. It is one man that owns all this farm. It's one man. That's what I'm talking about God. It's the one that owns the whole farm. It's just that he caught maybe one hitter. He said, hey, Pastor Farm, you farm farm rice for me. Eh? He caught five hectares. Eh? And he said, Okay, and I told you farm beans for me. Do you understand that? He caught, you know, another hit and said, okay, I'm supposed to take, take, take him in. You know, you, see, at the end of the day, it's one man that has. It is wisdom that the farmer with the various portion and the various crops he has given us. It is wisdom that we begin to like, work together. Do you understand? We can share experience and do that. The enemy knows that 
That is why you only see that he set us up so much. So that as Papa says, see, we are not loving one another, it means that we are hating. We are hating. And you're going to see that uh, that happened consistently. That happened consistently. But you know, I remember that um, love always wins. In the realm of the spirit, love is stronger than is stronger than hate. Huh? Just like life is stronger than death in the realm of the spirit. And so, and so you're going to go back and fight. You understand that? And I was very specific. That love, the people who came to die, yet all they said they didn't change whatsoever. What did he open his mouth to do? Did he open his mouth to curse? Huh? What did he do? To bless and pray. And so I was very specific, and then that one produced the same thing. I opened my mouth, and then I will bless. And so that scripture now came out like this. He love your enemies. You understand that? Pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you, so that you be like sons of God. That scripture, I I encounter it as a reality. In that season, I will kneel down and pray. And then go to the mountain and pray. And then after that season, I now see that. And I now learn how to pray. You know, some of you were here that began to pray. Began to pray for Putin. Isn't it? Began to pray for Putin. And then this uh, Chinese uh, president. And then some were saying, ah, but we would have uh, just judging and cutting off. But we're saying that we are, we are trusting God for an encounter on the road of Damascus. That all of them can be used as poor. Do you understand that? So I want you to go back and and begin to. Uh, I'm hearing some of you are saying that I don't have the kind of love that you pre you preachers have. You know, I've been all having that. If you have the Holy Ghost, as a Papa was saying, you have the Holy Ghost. The love of God is inside of you. See, the love of God is shared and brought in our heart by the Holy Spirit. Do you understand that? So you just need to go and put that into practice. Make demand of it, and then use it, and then you are going to begin to see result in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe that with this. A whole lot of people are going to be healed. A whole lot of people are going to be delivered. And even the prosperity, do you understand that? that? According to the vision I saw, even the prosperity will come. Huh? When we begin the love, in the name of Jesus. I want us to step out down ahead and talk to Jesus. Don't forget the power point, power point this night. You say the cancer of God is Christ. Please go, so I'm just breaking it. I'm just breaking it so that you're going to know. Just talk to him. Talk to him again. Talk to him to steer on that. You know, just like I prayed those days that God helped me. He helped me and he gave me that miracle. You'll not be moving about cursing people again or making trouble. You'll be moving about blessing. And they cause, they cause you bless. And you bless it to be from inside. You bless it to be from inside. From inside. I am perceiving inside that some of us we have some people to forgive. I'm perceiving my inside that some of us, some people here, you don't have some people to forgive, to let go. I perceive that that power is here. That power is here. And I want you to say you let go. And then the practical thing I want you to begin to pray that after you begin to pray for some people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I bless your name. I give you, I give you praise. And I give you glory. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so when you go, you go home in that dimension. In Jesus' name.